Don't run. This show is about two women. And even though you have some exciting elements, it's really about their relationship. <laughs> we'll do have dinner with you! Are you leading or am I? I have no idea. What Eve and Villanelle unconsciously offer each other are profoundly the things that each character needs. Villanelle brings in so much energy, so much vitality, so much possibility. <laughs> so much strength and so much violence. <gasps> These are the elements that for Eve have just been kind of on pause. Hit him in the head. Oh, oh, oh. Go get it stuck a little harder. Oh. The axe in the back was actually great for me. But I felt like that was such a huge moment for Eve. Yes, it was. It really, really was. Hit him, please. Hit him. Sorry! Sorry, I got let me think! That was one of the most key turning points for Eve. <laughs> we were very together in that scene. See? Like, that felt like a real yes. moment of coming together. Oh, we have to go. Take this off. They both provide something to each other emotionally. Aren't you tired? A little. Eve brings a calmness to Villanelle. There's like an, an unspoken understanding that I think Villanelle appreciates. I've never done anything like this before. I know what I'm doing. He can't. I can. <laughs> when Eve stabs Villanelle, it's messed oh, yeah. up, but it also instigates the entire thing. It was such a strange instinct to do it. Don't pull it. What did I just say? But it's really brought us quite close mm. together. Are you going to apologize to me? No. Are you? No. Okay, good. There we are then. Even and Villanelle are not an obvious match, but I do feel that they're good for each other. Nina, no! She really enabled Villanelle to think in new ways. Do you think I'm a monster? You're so many things. She seemingly brought out a conscience in Villanelle, even if that's this much of a conscience. I don't want to do it anymore. Any of it. They definitely pulled each other in a way that neither of them was expecting. I think if Eve and Villanelle had never met, Eve would have a lot more friends that were alive. No, he has indeed the number. <laughs> She'd probably be less stressed and a lot happier. You think you'd be fine without me? I think I'd sleep a lot better. If Eve and Villanelle never met... You'd be dead in five minutes. Well, we wouldn't have a show. Fine. <laughs> <laughs> How did you guys meet? Oh, she stalked me. She put me in prison. She tongued my boss. Oh, no. <laughs> oh. <laughs> what I'm most proud of about Killing Eve is getting to the end in one piece. I think we had a feeling that what we were doing was good. We had no idea that it would be popular. We're lucky that we've had amazing, wonderful female lead writers for every season. I don't want to say you only had one job. Oh, but... piss off, Frank. The writing of Killing Eve was a stroke of genius. Your turn. It's about daring to go outside the boundary of our expectation. Dear Geraldine, I think it's time you left. I remember how happy I was, elated, when I got this role and just being like, oh my gosh, now I have to do the work. This has been great, guys! I think people <laughs> loved her, one, because they know they shouldn't. I think there's always a danger in that of going, I know I shouldn't like this person, but I really do. I very much have enjoyed Sandra and Jodie and Kim, and I think it's been great generosity between all of us. Don't turn around. I don't, I don't want to see it. Oh, Jesus. It's a really, really sad thought to think that we're not all going to be coming back next year. You look nice. I'm also a big believer in leaving something while it's good. What are we going? <laughs> Better be someplace hot. There's so much to be said about the impact of Killing Eve culturally. It's unbelievable that people found our show. It's just been great to know that there is a fan base who will appreciate Eve and Villanelle.
Thank you for your passion, your fan art. It really wouldn't be what it is without you all. You want to ride? No. I don't know how that's going to feel when they say you cut for the final time. I'm incredibly sad. I'll miss the crew a lot. Our crew is amazing. I'll miss the characters, because I really have fallen in love with them and how complicated they are. <laughs> are you flattering me? I think there's so much shifting in our world. The fact that we were able to make our show when we did is remarkable. Are you all right? I'm very proud of what happened to the series around the world. It's been decent, to be fair. When you get scripts through and you're like, oh my God, we have to achieve what in how much time? Mm -hmm. And then you just see everyone coming together and just doing their absolute best to make that achievable and make it happen. It's like, ah, oh, and then you see the final product. And we have an awful lot of crew that has come back in very key roles each year. And although it's a cliche, it's very much like a family. What happened to your room? What do you mean? It's been a tough but brilliant show to work on, and I think everybody's had the sort of same attitude as the one that we have, which is like, just concentrate on making your bit the best it can be. This home cooking way of being together, it creates a world that, of course, will be missed. Heroes only get the girl in Hollywood. I've enjoyed the zaniness of it, and the argument of it, and the spontaneity of it. There was a moment in season four, which I planned with the entire crew. And I was like, I want to do this thing, but I don't want him to know. He must not know that I'm going to do this in this take. It was payback time, I think. And it was just a really beautiful moment. And so many of the crew were really kind of taken by it as well. And I was like, ah. Oh. That scene is going to remind me of killing you for the rest of my life. <laughs> I've been in some wonderful shows in my life, but in the end, it's only a handful that you really miss, and this is going to be one of them. Hopefully, we've been able to wrap up the season in a way that will be satisfying for the fans, where it's like, this is, this is how far they've come. I mean, I masturbate about you a lot. Okay, that's too much?